great news guys, iOS 17 is now available to everyone. So if you have an iPhone XS like what I've got right here, or a XS Max or the XS some people call it, or the XR or XR, all the way up to an iPhone 14 model, so like here the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can actually download iOS 17 right now. And of course, if you're lucky to have your hands on a new iPhone 15, you will also get iOS 17 straight out of the box. Now, today with the new iOS 17 update, there's about 10 new upgrades. And some of them, you do actually need to change some of your settings on your iPhone. So I'm gonna go over these and also talk about the great new features that are available what you can use today. So the first one is the standby clock, like what I've done here on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And if you want to enable this, you need to go into your settings on your iPhone to turn this on. And I will say right now, this is only compatible on iPhone 14 Pros, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and also it will be available on the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let me show you. So once you are in settings, scroll down to standby, open that up, and then as you can see, you have a switch there for standby. You want to turn it on. And as you can see, you can have the display is always on. You can also fiddle around with some of the night mode settings and bits and pieces there. Also change some notification settings. And then after that, you're all ready to go. Now, one thing you have to do, as you can see here, you do have to have an actual mount or a MagSafe connector to actually hold your iPhone basically horizontally, as you can see here, for the always on to work. Now, there is a nighttime mode as well, and this only comes on, obviously, at nighttime. So if you have configured up your phone to when you go to sleep at night, this will turn on and everything will kind of go into sort of a dark red color. So that is the first upgrade. Now let's talk about upgrade number two. Now again, this change happens in your settings. And what Apple have done this year is actually they've changed it from saying, hey Siri, to just basically Siri on your iPhone. And you can enable this in your settings again. So let me show you. So once you're in your settings, all you have to do is scroll down to the Siri and search, open this up, and then as you can see right at the top, it says our Siri and listen for, and we want to select this. And as you can see, you have the choice of Siri or Hey Siri, or you can also just select Hey Siri. And as you can see there, I've enabled it too. Then for upgrade number three, this is all to do with contact posters. Now, Apple showed off these brand new Apple contact posters you can see here, and they're really, really cool to basically share with other people. And also when you call up somebody, these contact posters appear. And let me show you how to configure this. Now, this time what we need to do is we need to go into the contacts app. Once you're inside that, click on your card. And then what we can do is at the very middle here, we can click on the contact photo and poster, and then we can actually configure it. So as you can see here, it tells me to continue. So I'm gonna do this, I can put my name. I can also select a camera picture of me right now, photos, a emoji or a monogram. So I'm gonna click a emoji here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select my face, as you can see here. And then let's have me looking like that one there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click next. And there we have it. I can also change my color if I wanted to do so. Good, let's try it with the blue background. There we go, that looks a bit better. So I'm just going to select that. And then all we have to do is click done. Now, this leads nicely to upgrade number four. And this is all about sharing this contact card and sharing contact with each other without having to type it all in all the time. Apple have enabled a feature that works very similar to AirDrop. So basically, if you bring two phones close to each other, what you can do is you can actually share your contacts or receive contact information. And it's really, really cool. And everything will be saved into your contacts card. Then for upgrade number five, we've actually got offline maps at last on Apple Maps. And there's a way how you can enable this and also select certain offline maps. And let me show you how to do that right now. So once you're in your Apple Maps, all you have to do is just select your sort of picture your avatar down in the bottom corner and then as you can see here you've got offline maps so i'm just going to select that but also at the same time as well you can actually choose maps so i'm actually going to choose here london as well and as you can see here i can click download so if i select that it starts downloading all the maps for it now before we move on to upgrade number six i want to tell you guys about this channels giveaway what's literally happening in a couple of weeks time it's happening at the end of september time and it's an international giveaway and let me go over the prizes that are going to be given away so first of all we have some airpods pro so one lucky person is going to be able to get their hands on that then also we actually have here an apple watch se one 
one other person's going to get their hands on that so then we and finally we have the grand prize what's an apple watch ultra and one lucky person will also get their hands on that so it's basically one prize per a winner and there'll be three winners in total and all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is put down in the comments below if you're planning to buy any technology gear or apple gear in the remainder of 2023 i would love to know that so put that down in the comments right now to enter in and also at the same time as well if you're brand new here make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because i'll be announcing who that winner will be in a couple of weeks time and you won't want to miss out on that announcement of that live stream that i'm going to be doing for this giveaway here now just quickly i'm also going to say guys sadly there's still lots of scammers and spammers out there some of them still impersonating myself telling you to whatsapp them telegram you and all of this some of them even telling you to part with money for delivery this is not me at all i'll be paying for delivery and i'll also be paying for the packaging taxes you know all of that kind of sort of thing please do report them or do ignore them but reporting them would be better as you can see right here and with that guys let's now move on to upgrade number six so the good news is you don't actually have to change anything for this one we've actually got improved autocorrect now so what this basically means is that anything where you've got your actual sort of spellings apple couldn't work out exactly the words that you need the messages they've improved on this then for upgrade number seven we've also got swipe to reply so finally the neural engine inside the iphones are coming to work now and they're predicting basically what your next part of the sentence is going to be then for upgrade number Number eight we've actually got an updated sticker drawer so as you can see here apple have updated their sticker drawer with a whole load of new stickers at last a bit more up to date and you can use these to send to your friends on messages then for upgrade number nine something that we've been wanting for about the last two years or so and this is finally interactive widgets so you can at last sort of interact with certain widgets and obviously a lot of third parties need to make their widgets enabled to be more interactive but what we're talking about is for example like with the home kit if you've got a light you can turn off and on the light here without actually opening up the app but it's also really really useful finally for upgrade number 10 we've actually now got live voicemail now this is exclusive to some carriers so you will have to find out in your country if your carrier can do this and what this basically means that if say if you send a call to a voicemail what it will start doing it would start displaying on your screen of what the person is saying on the voicemail and it also gives you the option to pick up the phone while that voicemail is being recorded and there we have it guys those are the new upgrades for ios 17 what you can get today now of course there are a few other upgrades that are coming later on the line from apple in ios say 17.1 17.2 and so on and so forth what apple normally do roll out so you're getting those in the future and i'll probably make another video of when they do come out as well so you can actually check them out but with that guys go and download ios 17 right now for your iphone because it is a great upgrade and it's completely free and it's available to the whole public and with that guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also at the same time as well if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i will see you soon take care bye bye